Okay. The um, what 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 I'm going to share is uh, is some gleanings from that world of neuroscience that have become available more in the last you know, six or seven years, uh, and and just seeing you know what bits of it fit and. So far, in the bits and pieces that I've explored, it's, um, it all fits, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, even the resonance, which is even more amazing. I'll talk about that tomorrow. But, um, but the bit that, that relates to story development uh, that I'm going to share, and, um, and, and I'll reference here the work of uh, Marie Natalie Baudouin, People know Marie Natalie. Uh, B E A U D O I N. <coughs> and in collaboration with Jeff Zimmerman from the Bay Area, the Bay Area Family Therapy Centre. Is it a centre? Hmm. Um, and they've written a, a paper for the Journal of Systemic Therapy. I can't remember exactly what the title of it is. But also, Marie Natalie has written a, a little book for parents and teachers called The Skillionaire in Every Child. The Skillionaire, yeah. And you can get that online. It's only like 15 bucks or something. Um, you can get it as an e-book or as a real book, uh, as a real book, as a hard copy. And, uh, and yeah, she draws on some of these ideas of, uh, of her readings of neuroscience. But, and, and yeah, and others around. Okay, so this is about, you know, people, you know how the brain works with neurons, the little cell bodies uh, with long so cell body with long axons an axon cell body dendrites. This is, this is very simple neuroscience. <laughs> um, I was actually chatting to a neuroscientist the other day for lunch, as you do sometimes, <laughs> have the opportunity to. There are, is it a hundred billion of these little things in our brain, a hundred billion? Many of them have a thousand dendrites, these, 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 these places that connect across. So the possibilities of connection, I think, are a hundred trillion or something. You know, numbers that just don't make any sense to us. Um, anyway, one of the things that has been found is that the pathways, the neural pathways for negative affect are really big and fat and smooth and have lots and lots and lots oops yeah of dendrites yeah to make them to be, to be able to send the messages across really quickly compared to yeah what might be considered other just ordinary everyday neurons <laughs> that maybe are about that big Neural pathways like that. Okay. Oh dear. Because problems. Uh, and and this is this is because as we as our as our brains evolved, it was much much more important that we respond to negative affect, that we respond to fear and danger, and and have very quick pathways for responding to that, such that we didn't even have to think. Um, so, so we're wired, we're, we're set up to be able to, to respond very quickly to, to danger, to something that's fearful, uh, and, and that it's through negative affect that that gets, that gets um, ex experienced. So problem stories have a home advantage, don't they? <laughs> Problem stories, uh, yeah, uh, have a negative affect to them. If you think of yourself as the problem, yeah, then you will have a heavy, 
feeling. It's the, those, yeah, those um, you know, cortisol and those heavy things, those neurotransmitters, neurochemicals, that it's, um, it's a negative affect if you believe yourself to be worthless. And so the belief has this pathway, you know, winds around this, this pathway that is just the go-to position. It's a, it's, it is a physical superhighway in our brain. So, and which is what we know in terms of how problem stories get a hold and we have that metaphor of it being a, you know, they get so repeated and repeated that it becomes a superhighway. Well, there's a physical correspondence to that. So they really do have this home advantage. It's what, what, we're, up, what we're up against in terms of our um, responding to problems, problem stories. So, but what we have to our advantage is the neuroplasticity. That finding that has been sweeping the world of the science uh, that's really different to when neuroscientists first started talking about the function of the brain. It's like there were a certain number of uh, neural connections and they were set, got set in cement by a certain age and then, you know, then they dropped off and atrophied and then we died, you know, like it was... <laughs> uh, that was actually uh, a, dead e a dead end in the science. It was, and there's a historic, I can't remember the details of it, but there's a historical reason that that particular belief took hold and, and had precedence. And, and now the newer findings is completely, like completely put, turned that on its head. That the plasticity is amazing. The plasticity, even when we've had a physical damage to the brain and the possibilities of the brain being able to rewire itself, to be able to to go around and, and people being able to, people who are blind being able to see through sensors in their tongue and all sorts of crazy things that are happening in the world of neuroscience and, and that it fits with our, our landscape of possibility <laughs> that, that it is always possible to develop new pathways in the brain. It's always possible to develop new stories. But if we, um, if we think that ordinary everyday neurons are these much smaller, skinnier things, um, then it's not going to be sufficient if, like we think of this as Maria's story of the I'm no good voice and how that works and we hear there's this been this time where she took uh, Carly to, to kindergarten, the open day. If we just left it, if we just left it, uh, that's the event. I took her, well yeah, I managed to get her there. If we just went, oh, that's, that's different, we'll just, yeah, you managed to get her there. <laughs> well done. By the time Maria got to the bus stop, yeah, this would have come back. So, so this loitering, this is where we appreciate what we're doing in the loitering. So, we have the event, so we think of these as, you know, this is, this is, this is our rich story development. These are areas that we can ask into. And in that exercise, you had what you did, um, and then you had, some things about the context, describing like the physical context. Yeah, so, you know, I asked Maria about yeah, uh, some, of the, you know, some of what was going on, how she got her daughter ready, all those things, we can, you know, what she saw along the way, the, the roses and what have you. So just, just by describing that physical context, the surroundings, we're actually bringing some neurons together into this event. We're actually bringing them together. So then we had questions that drew out how, 
you know, how, she, how she managed to get out the door, the skills and know-how, say. So, you know, ringing Brenda, grabbing that scarf, knowing that that would help, having that history of that know-how, all of this is bringing more neurons together. Um, we got asked about the effects, you know, how, what, what were the effects of doing that? What did she see on her daughter's face? What was, you know, what effect did it have on, on her sense of self? You think there's a, I'll make this a bit more too. There's a very lovely finding that was one of the early, earliest findings from the late 40s, uh, Heb, somebody, somebody, Heb. Um, that still holds true. And it's that neurons that fire together, wire together. So these neurons that fire off, that are excited off, firing off around the same event, around the same thing, they end up wiring together. They end up becoming a bundle so that they're not just individual fragments, they're wired together as though they were a single pathway. Cool, eh? <laughs> so that next time any, any part of that memory is accessed, all of this will come. But, so then uh, we asked the questions about intentionality. Yeah, what she wanted, what was important to her, what she was hoping for, what were the themes of what this was about. Lots and lots of, lots and lots of neurons, lots and lots of activity. Um, links with others who wouldn't be surprised. So many, so many, so much happening, so much being brought into play.